guys, it's Felicia here. So today I will be doing boys problems um, as like a sequel to my girls problem video. And so this will be coming from my point of view because boys think they have no problems whatsoever. They think they're all perfect and whatever and no offense boys, you're not. So yeah, let's get started. So in this world, there are only two types of boys. Ones who do not know how to talk and ones who talk and don't know how to shut up. So the boys who do not know how to talk, they usually isolate themselves and they try not to talk to other people unless um, a teacher calls on them or um, they have to ask a question. That's probably the only time they talk to people. Other than that, they try to be quiet and read their books. So yeah, like I feel bad for them because they don't have a social life. But then, what can you do? You can't really do anything to it because that's just who they are. It's part of their personality, so... But on the other hand, boys who do not know how to stop talking, they interfere with my learning. Like, okay, they don't do this a lot, and don't get me wrong, I don't love school, but then I don't, like, you know, you... You can't really do anything about school. Like, you, I have to go to school. It is mandatory. Like, I don't get to choose. I don't get to say, oh yeah, I'm gonna skip school. I need money and education is what gives, brings money to me. And so the boys who do not know how to stop talking annoys the teacher, which stops my learning, which means she stops her lesson and stops teaching the lessons, which means I do not understand what the lesson is about. And then she gives us more homework and leaves me with more questions in the end. Like, I don't need more homework than I'm supposed to have. And so, the pro is they have a social life and they actually talk to people around them. On the other hand, they, the people who do not know how to talk, they isolate themselves and have no social life. So there are like pros and cons to the two types of boys in this world. So don't get me wrong, some boys actually do know how to find the balance between social life and when to stop talking. And when I mean some, I mean like 0.000001% of boys know how to do that. So for this next two, I can't really like explain it. Okay, so com boys compared to girls are more irresponsible and immature. That's just the way the genders work. Girls are more responsible and mature while boys are like, you know, irresponsible. So yeah, girls are better most of the time. And so like what I mean by like irresponsible, I mean like they forgot to do their homework. Um, and if they play in the band, they forgot to bring their instrument. Um, they forgot this, they forgot that. Oh, they forgot their football pads for football practice. Uh, basketball uniform when it's game day. The list goes on and on. I can't exactly explain irresponsible. You just gotta know the definition of irresponsible. Irresponsible means not responsible. Boys are immature. Like, I really can't think of an example that, like, you know, shows boys are immature. Like, boys tend to be more annoying around adults and... Uh, you know what? Let me just look up what immature means on my phone. What does immature mean? <laughs> Not fully developed. There you go, Google. And did you hear how they pronounced it? Immature. 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 It's immature. I say immature, isn't it? Basically, it means, um, and it just said it for you, not fully developed. Um, but I'm pretty, I'm the, the immature I'm saying is, Having or showing emotional or intellectual development appropriate to someone younger. Synonyms, childish. Stupid. Just kidding, I made that one up. Childish, um, babyish, infantile, green, naive, unsophisticated, and boyish. Yeah, it said boyish. Look it up on Google. I'm not even joking. It said boyish. There you go. That's the definition of immature. 
So, in conclusion, boys are either very talkative or not talkative, irresponsible, and immature. So there you go. Hope you guys enjoyed this like mini sequel to my girls problem video. If you like this video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up and make sure you guys comment and subscribe down below for some awesome videos coming up if you guys haven't already. And don't forget to follow all my social media sites down in the description box below if you guys haven't already. And don't forget to ask me questions on my Ask FM and give me some ideas for my upcoming videos down in the comments below. Well, I think that's all the time that we have today. This is Felicia, signing out.